Hello students. So in this video, we will learn another program to check whether the number is prime or not. So again, we start with the variable declaration. First step, let it be integer and we let n be the given number and i is for loop counter. So let us read number. For that, we will first print enter any integer read star comma let us store that into n now as we know we have to check number is prime or not for that we will check whether we have any improper divisor of this number okay so for that we write the loop i from actually it starts from 2 to n minus 1 because 1 and itself are its trivial divisors. To accept those, if we get any divisor, then that number is not prime, otherwise it is prime. So let us see how we can uh, execute this. So we have taken the range from 2 to n minus 1. And what we have to check, whether this divide this. So whenever we have the concept of division, so the uh, division algorithm strikes to our mind. So for that, we need to check remainder is zero. So how can we check remainder zero in Fortran? You see, for that I have to write if mod n comma i equal to zero dot zero. Now you see, if n concurrent i is zero, that means we got a divisor. So we write here, then, and we will print, print star comma, number is not prime. And if, and, and continue. And uh, so after we came out of this loop, once we came out of this loop, you see the value of i is already n, already n. So again, we write here, print star comma number is prime. Now to avoid that every time this statement will be printed, we have to write an if statement. If n equal i, then this will be printed. And uh, here we add another statement that is stop read star and uh, similarly here read star stop end so let me save this then uh, i will tell you what I, I have written here prime now let us see whether it compiles yes it runs now we execute the program enter any integer let us enter a prime number first seven and let us see what will be the result number is prime that means uh, it is running perfectly let us an an enter another number let it be 10 and you see number is not prime okay let us see for a uh, bigger number let it be 101 this is a prime number and uh, as we all know 729 is not a prime so number is not a prime so our program runs perfectly. So here I will explain. You see, uh, as I already explained here in the statement, what we have calculated, we have calculated the remainder because mod is an inbuilt function which gives us how much we get n modulo i, the remainder. And when that remainder equal to zero, this statement is true. Our execution control will come inside of this. There we have to print, this is not a prime. Now, you see, if we get a divisor, so there is no fun to execute this loop again and again, once we get a divisor. 
So that's why we have written a stop here. So once this will be printed, it will stop the execution of this loop and come out of this loop. Because now n is not equal to i, this will not be printed and program will be ended. And otherwise, if we don't get any divisor, this will end when i becomes n. And then when it come out of here, n equal to i, this will be printed. So I hope you got an idea how to write this program.